Hi everybody, welcome back to Jackson Jet Setting. Today we're doing a full tour of the Atlantis Aquaventure Water Park, which is a part of the absolutely massive Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. You might be watching this video because you're staying at the resort soon, or you're coming on a cruise ship and thinking about purchasing a day pass to the water park. In this video, I'm going to show you everything there is to do at Aquaventure, including the water slides, the pools, the beaches, aquariums, as well as ways to save money. And I'm going to try and show you a few of the areas around Aquaventure that maybe some of the other videos on YouTube are not showing you. So let's get started. Let's make this vacation awesome. But before we do, please like and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. I do lots of resort tours as well as cruise ship content on Jackson Jet Setting. It really helps me out. So if you're coming in on a day pass like I did, you're going to be dropped off in the Coral Towers and make the long walk through the shops and the casino to get over to the entrance to Aquaventure. A lot of great photo opportunities on the walk. You got the amazing lobby with this amazing atrium. You have the Choluli glass in the casino that you just saw. And you have lots of aquariums. This is actually part of the big dig, which you do get access to as part of your AquaVenture ticket. We're gonna check that out towards the end of the video. You're also gonna walk past a few of Atlantis's indoor restaurants getting over to the main entrance for AquaVenture. I did make my way over to the casino to go eat lunch because they have a couple of better restaurants for about the same price as what the food is out at Aquaventure. It's a little bit longer walk, but I just felt like the quality of the food was going to be better, and it was. On the day of my visit, for some reason, they weren't letting us into the main entrance of Aquaventure, so they rerouted us. And so this is actually above the Big Dig. You can enter Aquaventure through the Big Dig as well. That's kind of a nice intro, I think, to the park, but if you're in a rush to the water slides, I would maybe skip that for later in the day, maybe when the lines get a little bit longer and walk on this awesome pathway that goes above and you can see a lot of fish and a lot of aquariums and just really get a sense of how vast this space is. Uh, acres and acres of water park and aquariums and beach. It takes hours to walk around this place and this is all part of your entry fee. It's not just the water slides. So that's the biggest point here. It is very much more than the very famous Mayan water slide that we will go down and I'll show you my GoPro footage from that. It is a lot of stuff here for one day. And while this is a lot to pack in on one cruise stop over a couple of hours, if you have a longer stay, maybe three or four nights, it's gonna be perfect to check out all of Atlantis. Now there are a couple of beaches that you can access at Atlantis. This is the more public beach. You actually don't need a ticket if you can access the beach from down the beach. Uh, and walk over to here, but of course you can't go into AquaVenture, but we are about to, so let's start our tour. We'll check out more of the beaches a little later in the video. So this is gonna be the entrance to the Rapids River, or actually one of the entrances. This is a massive lazy river slash active river. Uh, they have a lot of waves that go through this at certain periods in time. It goes and weaves in and out of different attractions. Different attractions actually end up in the river. Then they have a conveyor belt at one point in the river that will take you back up and you can start it over again. Uh, when I was here last, they actually let you go all the way around the river. Um, but at a certain point on my visit this day, I had to step out of my raft and basically cross a small pathway and get back into the river. Not sure why they were doing that, but there are some amazing opportunities for fun here in the Rapids River. If there's one attraction that you're going to do all day, it's probably going to be this. Just because once you get a tube, there's no line, you can just do this over and over. So the water park itself opens at 10 a.m. All the water slides, the pools at the resort open around 9 a.m. So when we got there, it was about 9 a.m. So you could start swimming immediately, but had to wait around for those water slides to open. Good news was at 10 a.m., no lines at all. If you're someone who wants to go down the water slides as many times as possible during the day, I suggest heading to the water park at that time. And then maybe head into the Lazy River or the Rapids River, rather, around the busy time of the day, you know, when everyone else wakes up on their vacation. Now, of course, the water slides are going to be the star of the show here, but some of the pools were really, really beautiful, fun places to hang out for adults. They had waterfalls going later at this pool, and the main pool was absolutely gigantic, and they had smaller slides for the kids to kind of dump them back into the main pool with a lot of waterfalls as well. Plenty of places to grab a drink here, as well as food. Uh, there were waiters walking around too to take your order. Of course, there are cabanas that you can rent for an extra charge. That'll make your experience during the day a little bit more premium. So if you have a bigger group, maybe that makes more financial sense. Or maybe you've just hit it big in the casino and you wanna blow it a little bit on your family. That is totally an option. 
This is called the Mayan Temple Pool because it is closest to the Mayan Temple. If you were a kid in the 90s when this place opened, you were marketed this resort like no other. And that leap of faith water slide going down the Mayan Temple through the shark tank was what you wanted to do as a kid. And that is maybe a big reason why I'm here today too, shooting this video because it is awesome. And there are a lot of people like you watching this video that are also interested. So they did their job right. I'm here, I'm ready to have some fun. We're gonna film all the water slides that we can today. This is the exit for the jungle slide, I believe. That didn't open until later in the day, but that's gonna be the tamest coming off of the Mayan temple. In terms of water slides, the Mayan temple was the original water slide tower here at Atlantis since they built the power tower, which has some uh, water coasters. Uh, those are really cool, and those all dump into the roaring river there so we're gonna take a look at everything here this area i didn't remember from my previous visit this is all gonna be for the little kids but it looks absolutely awesome it's all themed to poseidon lots of those awesome buckets that they dump tons of water on the kids that they just always seem to love smaller slides lots of areas to explore shoot water at your parents really cool stuff there it's also conveniently located right next to the mayan temple so Mayan Temple is going to have slides coming off of pretty much all sides. Excellently themed, of course, to the Mayans who were not a part of the Bahamian culture by any means, but it makes for a great water park theme. This area also made for kids a little shallower, some smaller water slides coming off of the temple, and a nice area for parents to lounge and watch those kids safely. And so it was finally time for me to go down this water slide. I had done it many years before on another day pass actually from a cruise ship. They actually stayed at Atlantis, would love to stay one day. But man, the leap of faith water slide. I was definitely nervous going straight down this thing. It's not the biggest water slide in the world anymore. It never really was. But just the theming of this combined with the shark tank, combined with just the leap of faith that you have to take going down this water slide. It's no less intimidating today than it was a few years ago, so I was excited to climb the stairs and careen myself down. Now this slide might have a long wait in the middle of the day. It is not a long ride by any means, as you will see right now. Now I gotta say, it's a really fun ride. Didn't see a single shark on the way down. All for looks for sure, and actually the people that are too chicken to ride are gonna have awesome view of the sharks in the aquarium over here to the sides. This is a great place for your family to wait for you if you're waiting in line. Lots of sharks there, uh, and they actually have a great look at the other slide in the tower. That's called the jungle slide. That's gonna be pretty cool because you're gonna take a tube up the tower, you're gonna find a friend if you want, you can ride with them, and then careen down this really pitch black tunnel, and that's gonna end up actually in the shark tank, and here you're gonna have a better chance at viewing those sharks. Now, you're gonna see in my ride video here on my GoPro, props to GoPro, not sponsored. Really, really dark, really, really dark. Oh man, you're careening around. This is a really, really fun spot uh, because you're just getting thrown all over the place and you can't see a thing. And then it's gonna spit you out into the shark tank. But unfortunately, once you get spat out, it's pretty foggy in there. You can kind of see some fish around and then you're kind of stuck in there for a bit because you got to wait for the next wave from the other passenger to kind of push you along the tunnel. It's still a very unique ride uh, and a lot of fun. And you end up in the same pool as the Leap of Faith water slide at the end. Now on the other side of the Mayan Temple is the Challenger slides. These are twin slides that you can race your friends on. They only had one open when I went down it. But this was an absolute blast. Major airtime right there and then huge splash down the pool. I would do that slide probably two or three more times if I had the time. So Challenger slide's definitely an A plus for me. And a great view from the top of the Mayan Temple, even if you don't want to ride the slides. Here's a look at some of the smaller water slides going in between the pools in the Mayan Temple pool there that we checked out a little earlier. And if you thought that you could escape it, you cannot. There is a Starbucks right across the way from the Leap of Faith water slide. So let's take one last long look at the Mayan temple pool and go find some more water slides. Now next to the Mayan temple pool is going to be the grotto pool. Apparently this is exclusive to preferred seating only, but I didn't see any signs for that. Maybe that's an outdated map that I was looking at, but nice little pool here. 
Now we're gonna climb this tower a couple times that has the best water slides in the whole park. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is called the Power Tower. It's located across the bridge, across the Rapids River. It's gonna have a number of different slides that you need tubes for and one awesome body slide that we will detail in just a second. So you gotta grab a tube, make sure you grab the tubes that are for this tower. Made the mistake of grabbing a different tube that apparently you can't use on these rides. So don't walk all the way up the tower with the wrong tube or you're gonna have to do it twice like I did. Walk up the stairs a little bit and make your way all the way to the top of the tower. You're gonna to be rewarded with probably the best view in the entire park. You're gonna see the fancier beach that's available to AquaVenture guests over here to the left. And then we're gonna head down what's called the Surge, which is one of the park's premier water coasters. Now this water slide is awesome because it's like four in one. You got the water coaster action, you got a tube slide in pitch darkness that's gonna spit you out into what's basically like a rapids river and then actually spits you out into the real rapids river that'll take you around the whole park and back to where you can go up the tower yet again. So uh, just it, the ride itself could last and forever because you can just keep going around the rapids river if they let you go around the rapids river. Uh, like they did in my first visit. Really a lot of fun. Now, halfway up the power tower are the falls and the drop slides, both water coasters. One was open in the morning and one was open in the afternoon. They also have a little conveyor belt to take you back up the tower, which wasn't operating, which would have been cool to do. But I did get to film the falls, I believe this one was, and it was really a lot of fun, a little shorter than the surge up on top, but still nonetheless a lot of fun. And these both spit out into the Rapids River as well. There's just a thousand things going on with all these slides. And it's a lot of fun. If you've never done them before, it's just a complete surprise of where they're taking you. You can watch this video and you won't know what they're actually going to do. So just go definitely go down these, okay? But next, we're going to check out the Abyss, which you have to climb all the way up to the top of the tower again. But this thing is awesome. Basically, it is a body slide, very fast, pitch black brief moment of light and then you're going to plunge directly into what is the coolest exit of any water slide I've ever seen. It's an aquarium. You have been transported to an underwater aquarium that the Mayans built for some reason. Unbelievable. Very disorienting exit. Lots of water getting thrown in your face. It's a very fast slide. Just an amazing time inside the abyss. Now, a short walk away from the power tower is actually this cove beach. Despite the name, the cove is open to all guests, but the cove tower has exclusive areas, including Paradise Beach, that only the cove and the reef guests are allowed to enter. So there are some exclusive areas here at the Atlantis if you're staying on property for longer that you can't access certain areas if you're staying in the wrong tower. This is called the Baths Colonnade Pool, and it had a very, very upscale feel to it. It's a lot quieter than the other pools, so if you're here for the day and you want a quieter pool to hang out at, this may be a great option. There's the Cove Tower in the distance. That's going to be exclusive to those uh, guests that are staying in that tower. I believe that one is adults only, so you got to pay the big bucks to get access to that and their special pools and beaches. That concludes the tour of the very exciting AquaVenture side of things. Now we're going to explore... A lot of the areas that don't get enough press, in my opinion, these are the aquariums on the other side of AquaVenture that's on the way to some of the older towers at Atlantis that are absolutely stunning. And we're also going to check out the Big Dig, which is the premier aquarium at Atlantis. You get free entry to all these things, so might as well go check them out. You're paying a lot of money to be here for the day or even if you're staying overnight. So let's check them out. This is the grand entrance to... Aqua Venture. Normally, this is what you would walk down entering, and this is the Royal Baths pool. So, this is one pool that we didn't check out over at Aqua Venture. This is going to be another quieter pool, but did get a little bit busier later in the day, I did notice. This is going to be more central to kind of all of the towers. So, maybe people that are just looking for a beach chair and just want a big pool to hang out at, this is going to be it. I did notice that there was a Shake Shack nearby. That was new to me this visit. And then this is Paradise Lagoon, so this is going to be a very calm beach, manufactured of course, uh, but you can also do some paddle boarding here, you have some kayaks, some of those little big wheelers that you can paddle around the lagoons, a lot of fun for families, so if you're looking for a more calm activity here, you can use those. 
we're walking further and further away from the main Aqua Venture water park around the lagoon here. There's the casino in the background. That's where we started our tour. So this place is absolutely massive. You got miles of trails to walk around. I just always am mesmerized by one, how many trails they had to build, how many plants they have to maintain, how many fish are in this place. It's crazy. There's a restaurant that's really pretty located in this section that actually has the exit to one of my favorite areas that I found, and it's this like predator tunnel that goes underneath one of the lagoons here. And you can see all sorts of sharks, really cool animals to check out. I highly recommend walking over here if you are maybe taking a break from the water park or maybe the lines are too long and you're like, hey, let's do something else. Maybe go grab lunch on this side of the resort. It's gonna be a lot less busy than over at the water park. If you've been to Atlantis before, what are your tips and tricks? What are your favorite things to do on property? I want to hear about them in the comments. Let's all help people save time, save money while they travel. This is what the whole point of this channel is all about. I appreciate all of y'all watching, especially if you made it this far. Please tell your friends. So here is the start to the Predator Tunnel. We're going to go check out what lies underneath the lagoon here. And as we make our way out of the Predator Tunnel, we're gonna walk back over the lagoon, we're over some rope bridges where they have a lot more animal displays as well as some information about like tide pools and that sort of thing. This is in the very far corner of the resort, so a lot of you probably won't make it here, but I highly recommend doing so. It's just a nice little quiet area with some great views of the resort in the background. Just a fun thing to do to kill a little bit of time.
So before I walk inside to the big dig and check out that aquarium, just wanted to show you a few shots, some pretty moments that I found inside of AquaVenture. This place is really pretty. I think it's very expensive for the day, but a very, very good experience for what you paid for. Just one thing I love about this resort is even when you think you're done with sea life, there is a random aquarium full of stingrays just as you walk inside next to a smoking section. There's a turtle next so to it. After exiting it's the Aqua Venture water park, you're going to walk back to and the main day, lobby. Maybe I will stay. There's going to be some stairs the down suite, to which Big is Dig, a very famous which is suite here just at an awesome aquarium. Now, after exiting Aqua Venture, you can head back to the main lobby, walk down these stairs, and that's going to take you to the Big Dig. Now, if you're coming into Atlantis, maybe just to check out the place, maybe you're going to the casino, that's all completely free. And so is this area, not the Big Dig itself, but the big aquarium view right here that we're walking down towards. So you can get a little sense of what Atlantis is all about, completely free off of the cruise ship. Yeah, as we enter the big dig finally, I will say this is probably more of a themed experience versus an educational aquarium. There are a lot of displays throughout the resort that kind of explain what the animals do and there are some talks that happen that are included in the resort fee here. So just keep that in mind, this is more for like an attraction-like experience, something that's very Disney-like. I mean, as you're walking in here, you're through like a lobster tank. Uh, but it's not going to tell you anything about like what lobsters do or what they eat or how long they stay awake at night, nothing like that. If you're someone who likes kind of the story that they're trying to tell here at Atlantis, if you're a big theme park fan, this is probably the best way to enter AquaVenture. You're going to get a sense of, oh, these archaeologists were doing this dig and they found all these cool creatures in sea life and there's all these amazing artifacts around and boom there's a water park uh you know there's a whole story to the place uh that if you do a little bit of digging uh in between some you know tropical drinks uh, it's a lot of fun
as we exit the big dig, did want to do one last shot of the Paradise Lagoon. We're going to do one more walkthrough here. I'm going to leave you narration-wise for this last part. This is actually the marina shop. So the marina shops are available, and those are open to the public. It's obviously in the marina because there are some real yachts that have come from likely Miami for the weekend or maybe a little bit longer stay. But there's a couple of restaurants here and shops that you guys can visit even if you're not staying on property. So enjoy the walk around here. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.